welcome to Dinner and Dragons, where we cook good food and play good games. Megan, what are we playing today? Today, we are playing Star Wars RPG by Fantasy Flight Games. So I guess that means that we're gonna make some blue milk. Ooh, okay, that sounds great. And a little bit of that there. Okay. And a little bit of this here. Okay. All right. Cheers. Is that it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's dumb. Fine. Yeah. You want something else? Yeah. How about Death Star truffles? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then we're going to need some Oreos. Oh. What about these? Yeah, just like this. Okay. Uh, some white chocolate. Okay. Okay. And some cream cheese. Oh, how, how is this one? That's perfect, actually. Good. Uh, baking sheet? Okay, uh, a mallet. Got it! Where did you get that from? I don't know. All right, let's get started. Okay. So first, Megan, okay. uh, I'll let you do this because it's super fun. Take okay. your mallet. If you have spiky sides, you don't want to tenderize it, you just want to pound it. Uh, flat side, hit flat the Oreos. Side. Okay. Ooh, I like this. Okay. Good. You are surprisingly good at that. Oh, thanks. Now what you want to do is get a bowl. Do you have a bowl? So you take the cookie crumbles. Okay. And you're going to pour them into here, the bowl. And get as much out as possible. Okay. So you take your cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Now you, this needs to be room temperature, so it's mm. nice and soft. So now you just plop that in there, right there. Ooh, good. You want to smush it? Okay. Yeah, I'll smush it. Hold on. Take off these rings. All right. So okay. I just, I just do it. Yep. Just get I in there. Like it. Yeah. Now you want to mix this really, really well because the cream cheese is what's going to make it firm and hold into the shape. <gasps> After Megan is done squeezing the life force out of this and molding it into one giant ball, you want to get a baking tin here, preferably cover it in foil just so it doesn't stick directly to the baking tin. Now we're not actually going to bake. There's no heat involved oh. in this recipe. Don't wash your hands yet because we're going to be mixing this into little balls. Ooh. You're going to make about a little bit smaller than a ping pong ball. Okay, so maybe like a tablespoon size? Yeah, about a tablespoon. Okay. Like this, like so. Very nice. And put it onto the tray. Now that you have a tray full of balls, it needs to go in the fridge. Why? So that it can firm up. You don't want it falling apart when you put it in the white chocolate. Okay. Yeah, science. Yeah. Now we're gonna have to melt these bad boys. Oh, I have just the thing. Ready? Well, since that obviously didn't work, we put them into the microwave for a minute and a half. Now, white chocolate has very little oil in it, so what you're gonna wanna do is put about a tablespoon of uh, any kind of oil, canola or olive oil, and about a tablespoon of water. Once it's all nuked up, mix it together and you're gonna get a nice, fine liquid. Now, since this is gonna set pretty fast, we're gonna get those balls out of the fridge. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Those set really nice. Yes, they did. Now we want to take each one of these little lumpy Death Stars, mm -hmm. and we're going to dip it to get a shell. Roll it around in there, put it back on here. Wow. All right. Now that we got all these little Death Stars coated, we're going to put them back in the fridge to set. Ooh, for how long? About 10 minutes. OK. Well, we've stayed on target and pulled these things out of the fridge. They're nice and set. The last thing we need to do Make the hole for the super lid. Mm. Just take a pen, stick it in, boom. That easy. Oh, great! Nice. You ready to play? Yeah! Let's play! Okay! 